You may not realize it, but you might have a right to be forgotten, according to a top European court. RT's Sarah Firth tells us how one man from Spain, angry at being unable to delete an auction notice on his property from the web, beat Google in the personal information game. Well, the European Court of Justice that's there to interpret EU law has handed down a somewhat surprising to some ruling. Now, Spaniard Mario Castillo Gonzalez had complained that when you searched for his name online, you discover an article from more than a decade ago that mentioned that his home had been repossessed. Now, he was annoyed uh, that this embarrassing part of his past was still available online, and he wanted that listing and search engine to be removed. And the court ruled that search engines must listen to people when they complain about what their searches turn up, and in some cases comply with the request to have that personal information removed from the search results. And now there was the exception if the data concerns people who are in the public eye or a public interest information. Good news for the European Commission because they've been pushing uh, for new data protection rules that would give people this so-called right to be forgotten. Now, Google has said that this is a disappointing ruling for search engines and online publishers in general, and they're going to be analysing the implications. Now, there are concerns that this could open the floodgates to a countless requests for information to be removed from search engine listings, uh, but for all of us who've ever Googled themselves and everyone knows that they do do it and perhaps see something that they don't like, it's certainly going to have implications, perhaps putting the power back into people's own hands about uh, what people potentially uh, can find out about you and potentially giving people much more control about what people can search in the future. So it's going to be interesting implications all around, I think, to see how this one plays out. That was RT correspondent Sarah Firth.